if I got the right QBs, but oh well. I'll help you out if you don't have the right QBs. Okay. That's all good. Fetching video stream. Hey, we are here. Week number six. Wah, 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 wah. Football picks. I'm Joe Malone. This is my wife, Bailey. As I point directly into the camera, <laughs> and then mm. you point directly into the camera, Only too. Only you can prevent forest fires. Yeah, true. And the uh, California Power Association as well. What's up, Kimberly? What's up, Parker? How's everybody doing? Kimberly was at the game on Monday. Oh, yeah? Was that Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, that was Tuesday. I should have gone to that. Oh, well. What time did you get home? That's what I'm curious about. What time? Because I'm guessing it was probably like 2.30 in the morning, getting home from the Minnesota Twins game. Mm. That would have been so late. So late. Hey, give me a thumbs up if everything's coming through good. Everything sounds like it's coming through good. I like that. Hey, um, okay. All of our on-air quality check has been done. So Yay. we're good to go. Um, let's recap. Last week, week number five, another tie. Is that two straight weeks that we've had a tie? Mm-hmm. Eight wins for me, eight wins for Bailey. Damien says Skull. What's up, Damien? Skull. Um, Bailey still has a four-point lead overall. 50 wins through five weeks. I've got 46 wins through five weeks. See if we can't tighten that up a little bit. Should we just hop right into things? Surely. Let's just hop right into things. Our uh, first matchup is the Thursday night matchup. This is the one that will be taking place tomorrow evening. It is the Giants fresh off their devastating defeat to the Minnesota Vikings, taking on the still unbeaten and quite possibly unbeatable New England Patriots. Yep. Is there any way that the Patriots do not come out on top in this game? No. I don't think there is either. I've got the Patriots moving so to I. six and zero. Oh. Uh, they do have a tough part in their schedule coming up the second half of the season. They got to play Houston. They got to play Kansas City. They got to play some better teams. Mm-hmm. But they've got, uh, I think, the Jets again coming up and Washington again. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's New England has a very very easy road to the playoffs. Ain't done yet, but I mean, it's it's pretty easy. So game number two is a uh, Sunday morning game, eight thirty kickoff local time is that in london it is in london um unlike the bears and the um who did the bears play uh oakland oakland yeah. over in london that one was a noon kickoff for us so like five o'clock over there so they're shooting for like a 1 30 kickoff over there that's interesting um this game i think will be good i think um, i think it's gonna be pretty close you got tampa bay mike evans was a non-factor in tampa bay's game last week and uh, Jameis Winston and the coaching staff at Tampa Bay said that um, they have to get Mike Evans involved if they want to win football games. Yep. And uh, if I want to win fantasy games, they need to get Mike Evans involved. Mm-hmm. What's up, Jason? What's up, Brandon? Checking in. Uh, Carolina, do you know who their running back is? Mm-mm. Christian McCaffrey. Why does that name sound so familiar? Uh, his father was Ed McCaffrey, played for the Broncos back in the day. But Christian McCaffrey, right now, leader in the MVP race. Ooh. Christian McCaffrey has, whoa, what happened here? Are we still there? I think we're still there. Christian McCaffrey has more yards than the Dolphins. Hmm. One man has more yards than an entire football team. Who do you got in this game over in London? Carolina. You've got Carolina? Mm-hmm. I also have Carolina winning this game. I'm just going to check and make sure that we're still going. I had something weird happen. And what was it? Um, I don't know. It just like skitzed out for a second. Oh. And my video is doing that again. Weird. So. Yeah. It looks like it's skitzing out a little bit. Hmm. All right. I'm still Should we pretty, just power so through it? Sure. Let's just power through it. Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens. Hopefully you guys um, can put up with the uh, glitchy video right now, and we're just going to power through this. Um, I've got uh, I've got Carolina winning this game as well on the road. It's tough being in London. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't really give Tampa Bay the home field advantage in that game. No. Next up, Cincinnati at Baltimore. Cincinnati 0-5. Baltimore 3-2. and Yeah, Baltimore. Baltimore is going to win this game yeah. as well. That's easy to move on from game number four on this week's schedule. Seattle at Cleveland. Cleveland getting destroyed by San Francisco. I believe that was Monday night. Yeah. Russell Wilson, number one or number two in all the important quarterback categories. Hmm. Leading quarterback touchdowns, no interceptions. 
I've got Seattle winning this game against Cleveland. So do I. <laughs> Anything to add on that? Nope. No. Uh, did you hear about Handshake Gate? No. Handshake Gate. Evidently, um, Baker Mayfield supposedly snubbed Richard Sherman for a handshake pregame. What do you mean? Like, they, normally the players will go out and shake hands prior yeah. to the game, and he snubbed Richard Sherman of the 49ers. But then Baker said, I didn't snub him. And Sherman's like, yeah, you did. And then they had some, like, shaky cell phone footage video of them shaking hands. And Sherman's like, oh, okay, I guess you didn't. <laughs> like, why, you're grown men that make millions and millions and millions of you dollars. You didn't shake my hand. What does it matter that you did or did not get your hand shaken? All right, um, next up here, we've got uh, New Orleans and Jacksonville. Not New Orleans. I've got Jacksonville. Ooh, first one different. Yep, battle of backup quarterbacks, Teddy for New Orleans, Gardner Minshew the second for Jacksonville. Are you ready for your Gardner Minshew the second? Google it. Yeah. Gardner Minshew the second has never beaten his mother in a game of horse. Okay. That is a Gardner Minshew the second fact. From Google. From Google. It was a, I forget which publication did the uh, story. But he um, never beat his mom at his a horse. His mom has, is undefeated in horse against Gardner Minshew the second. You're not. Oh, no, I've lost at horse. Yep. I have. Um, once again, uh, if you're powering through what appears to be some video problems, thank you um, for sticking around with us. I hope the audio is still coming through. Good enough. Last week, all of this worked just fine. Why is it not working right this week? Houston, Kansas City might be the game of the week. Kansas City coming off their first loss of the year. Houston putting up big points. 56, I think it was mm -hmm. last week. It was ginormous. Absolutely mammoth amount it's of points. Ginormous. Kansas City's at home. <laughs> is there any way Kansas City does not beat Houston in this game? No. Kansas City's going to win. Yeah, I got Kansas City uh, winning this game as well. Uh, they'll fight back from their first loss. If you're looking for a game to take the over on whatever the point spread is, that's the game to take the over on. Right. Does and we'll that talk... get to your parlay picks? Uh, no, actually it doesn't because next up, um, before we get to our parlay picks, we've got Bailey's Hot QB of the Week. Boop, 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 boop. This matchup is Washington at Miami. Two undefeated teams. I'm sorry, two defeated teams. <laughs> <laughs> unwinning teams. Two Let's... unwinning teams. So uh, break it down for me. What do we got? Okay, so I think it's Jake Rudock, right? Jake Rudock? For Miami? Is it? I don't know. The other one was a Jets player by the looks of it. Well, I'll, I'll Google it. Um, I can tell you Washington, they're planning on bringing Case Keenum back into the starting role for Colt McCoy. Hey, okay, so I got that one right. Okay, he got that one right? Yep. Uh, would you be picking Miami for any reason whatsoever? Do I need to find out who their quarterback is? Um, no, I'm going to pick Case Keenum. You got Case Keenum in that one? Yeah. All right, not a bad Because I've actually there. met him. You sorta. met Case Keenum? Yeah, he was walking right by. It was like right next to him. And he signed a kid's thing, and I'm like, hi. And he's like, hi. Where was this at? At When Dad took me to the game. For real? Yes. You never told me you met Case Keenum. Well, I didn't, like, shake his hand and be like, hey, I'm Bailey. Yeah. Hi, Case. Nice to meet you. Did he acknowledge you? you? Yeah. After he looked at you, though. He looked at me. How tall That's is like, he? Tall. <sighs> Taller than me. <laughs> Taller than Christian Ponder? Mm. How many Vikings quarterbacks have no. you met? Because you met Christian Ponder at mm. uh, Target Field. Yeah, and okay, you told me that I couldn't go up to him and ask for his picture. And then a little kid went up there because he's like, he's just at a game. He's just at a game. Just let him be. Just let him be. And a little kid went over and got his picture taken with him. And I'm like, doors open, my turn. <laughs> so I went over and I'm like, hey, can I have a picture taken with you? And, and he, he did. said it. Yeah, he said it. It was yeah. the old Razor flip phone, too. Yep. I wonder if that photo is still on that phone somewhere. I still have it. Do you? Yeah, it's we'll on my to, laptop. We'll have to do some CSI, see if we can find the Christian Ponder yeah. picture. Yeah. Have you met any other Vikings quarterbacks? Mm, nope. If you ever get the chance to meet Kirk Cousins, do me a favor. Oh, I'd, um, never mind. Tell him, be better. Be Beat Kirk Cousins against bad teams, against yeah. good teams. So you've got uh, Washington. I also have Washington in that game up next speaking of minnesota and their quarterbacks we've got philly 
at the Vikings. Yep, I got the Vikes. I have the Vikings winning this game as well. Um, I think it'll be closer. Oh, yeah, it's totally going to be closer. I think that the Vikings at home against Philly are going to be able to pull it off. They're going to be able to put up some points. They're going to be able to hold off. Nothing crazy Philly's... like 56-2 or something? No, no. <laughs> I think I think it'll be like a 24-16 to 16 game. It'll be close. I think it's going to be closer you than You think that. it's going to be closer than mm-hmm. that? Hmm. We'll see. Up next, Arizona and Atlanta. Two horrible teams. I got Arizona. I've got Arizona as well. Arizona coming off their first win. They're technically better than Atlanta because they have a mm-hmm. tie instead of four losses like Atlanta has. Yep, that's why I picked them. And and they're at home. So when in doubt, go with the team that's at home. That right. will help Except out. for the Redskins in Miami. <laughs> yeah, except for that one. I don't know. I think I think Washington's the better of the beaten down teams between those two. Um, up next here, San Francisco at the Rams. San Francisco, are they for real? They're undefeated. Yeah, they're 4-0. Mm-hmm. Just destroyed the Browns. You got the yep. Rams coming in off of two losses. Yep. I got 49ers. I have the 49ers as well. 49ers, 57 points allowed. Wow. Top two, top three as far as points allowed. Of course, they already had their bye week, so... But we'll yeah. see what they can do against the Rams. I've got San Francisco until they lose. I mean, there's no reason for me to pick somebody that is not San Francisco. All right. We are going to move from that into this week's parlay picks. Let me recap last week's losing parlay picks as they've been all season long. Yep. Had Houston with the money. That was a good bet. Baltimore, minus three and a half. They lost by, or they won by three. That's a losing bet. Chicago lost, had them to win straight up. Minnesota, that was a victory. And San Francisco, minus three and a half, was a victory. So that was last week. This week's parlay picks of the week. Don't take Joe's advice. Until it wins. This week's parlay picks of the week. Kansas City, straight up. Jacksonville, straight up. Minnesota, straight up. Seattle, straight up. And San Francisco, plus three and a half. And that would be minus three and a half, I believe, for San Francisco. I think I did. Or is that plus? Are they seriously getting three and a half points? I think they are. That's right. They're on the road. So take the free points with San Francisco. Uh, $10 pays 142 Ooh. on that five-team parlay. That is the parlay picks of the week. Can you see me roll my eyes? What? Yeah. Well, now, now, try it again. Okay. Now we can see you rolling your eyes. Yeah. I'm up, honey. Yeah. If I'm doing my math right. What, a dollar now? Uh, add a couple of zeros onto that. I'm up. Mm-hmm. Not on football betting, mainly soccer, yep. but I'm up. It's good. Uh, Tennessee at Denver. I have Tennessee. I have Tennessee. They got a better defense. Mm-hmm. That was really kind of the determining factor for me in this one. Oh, I failed to mention, um, as we get down to the last three picks, you can make your picks for free. Just go to mystar106.com, click on the uh, football pick them, and... Um, and it looks something like this. Yeah, it looks just like that. And, and then, it's super easy. You just click on it. Yeah, and then click. you can win a pizza from the other place in Clear Lake if you're the weekly winner. End of the season, we're giving away a grill from Lake Fireplace and Spa. So that's mystar106.com. If you want to make your picks. All right. Um, let's move on to our final late afternoon game. What is going on here? This one right there. Dallas. Dallas and the Jets. Dallas. Dallas is going to be angry after getting beaten by Green Bay. I think they're just going to destroy the Jets. Yeah. That one's going to be like a 56 point spread. You think so? Oh, yeah. You think Dallas is going to win by that much? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Let's, Let's go be for optimistic. it. I got Dallas on there. Pittsburgh at the Chargers. Chargers, I think, are two and three? Something like that, yeah. Something I, like that. I, I did not expect them to be this bad this early. Yeah, I did pick the Chargers, though. I have the Chargers winning that. And then for the uh, interesting Monday night football game, you've mm-hmm. got Detroit at Green Bay. Do you want to take a guess at which one I picked? You picked Detroit. No, I did not. Oh, I picked Green Bay. I picked Green Bay. Did you know out of all eight divisions in football, Mm -hmm. you got the North, East, the South, and the West, Mm -hmm. and the AFC and the NFC, Mm -hmm. there's only one division in football where every team 
has a winning record. Do you know what division that is? The NFC North? The NFC North. Boom! What yeah. do I get? You get uh, hugs and kisses. Oh. And if anybody else got that right here in Facebook land, you do not get hugs and kisses from me. Find somebody else to get the hugs and kisses from. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to up me. I was like, no, 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 no. I don't think we have that much different, do we? We have one. We have one different. What do we have? We have New Orleans and Jacksonville different. Yep. It looks like we're going to have to watch that game. Nope. Yeah. We're not watching that game. We're already be watching the Vikings game. No, we'll be keeping tabs on it. That the game, the game that I really want to see, I think I'll be flipping back and forth to if it's on uh, on CBS would be the Houston Kansas City game. Yeah, that's gonna again, be a good one. I think that's gonna be awesome. Uh, Mark says Bears don't win or lose. That's right, they've got the bye week. Regan, all in on the uh, 49ers. Jason saying Philly, going back through some of the comments here. Jason's got Miami, Kansas City. What? Yeah. Live dangerously. I mean, they're all losing, so let's get to our someone's got to win unless final. they tie. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Oh my god, it could be. A t- imagine could if it was a zero zero <laughs> tie between Washington and Miami. <laughs> that would be awesome. Could you get refunds? I would if I'm, I was in the stands. I would demand a refund. Yeah, nobody puts up any points at all. Oh my goodness! I mean, there's been like some six three games. Yeah. That I remember, but imagine a zero zero tie. tie between Miami and Washington. <laughs> that would be funny. That would have to be the lead story on Sports Center. All right, fantasy apologies so we get things wrapped up. Uh, I would like to apologize to El Duderino, uh, my opponent, week number five in fantasy football. I scored the second most points I've ever scored in fantasy 176.2. You want to know something special about this past week in fantasy football? I could have started three players. You get to start nine. I could have started three players and beaten El Duderino because all I needed was Deshaun Watson, Dalvin Cook, and Aaron Jones. Those three players outscored El Duderino's entire team. Three players. So I take it you won last week? Oh, yeah, I won. Hold on here. I need to. Are you literally popping your collar? I am. I'm trying to. What is this? 2006. Hey, when you're four and one, and you've put up 170 plus points twice, you can pop your collar. I'm even going to unbutton this button. <laughs> that is fantasy apologies. Oh my god! This week I'm on the sorry, uh, everyone. Picks. What do you mean? Why are you apologizing to people? Because it's apologies, and I'm apologizing for you. There's no need to apologize. Mm -hmm. All right, make your picks. Go to mystar106.com. And remember, if you're a winner, pop your collar. Unbutton some buttons. Get comfortable. Wow. All right, we'll see you later. Oodles. See you next week. And tons of toodles.